So I'm going to show you how to write down the integer values which satisfy an inequality. Now you need to understand what an integer value is. An integer is basically a whole number. So we're looking for the whole numbers which satisfy the inequality. So let's have a look at example 1. So we need to write down the integer values that satisfy the inequality. Minus 3 is less than or equal to x which is less than 2. So we need to think about what this means. Right, the first bit of the inequality is minus 3 is less than or equal to x. This actually means x can be a value more than or equal to minus 3 if you read it backwards. So x can be a number more than or equal to minus 3. And then the other bit of the inequality is x is less than 2, so this makes sense. So we're looking for the x values which are more than or equal to minus 3 and they also have to be less than 2. So if we start on the minus 3 because it can be equal to minus 3 and then we just need to go all the way up Now we don't include 2 because x has to be less than 2, so we stop on the 1. So these are our integer values which satisfy the inequality. So let's have a look at example 2 then. So this time we need to write down the integer values that satisfy minus 2 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 4. So again let's think about what this means. So the first bit of the inequality is minus 2 is less than x. If you write this the other way around as x is more than minus 2, because this makes more sense than having it as minus 2 is less than x. And then the other bit of the inequality is x has to be less than or equal to 4. So we're looking for the values of x which are more than minus 2 and less than or equal to 4. So our first value which is more than minus 2 would be minus 1. So if we just keep going upwards on our number line now. So we can write down the 4 this time because x is less than and equal to 4. So these are our integer values which satisfy the inequality. Thanks for watching.